clear blue eyes break clear blue eyes blinking ringed with a glowing angry red a cruel laugh you really thought he could ever love you blood blood and pain shouting and burns and knives and dean dean winchester shot up in bed Scrabbling for his gun under his pillow and swinging out wildly instead, he found it missing. Teen, stop! Something grabbed him by the wrist. Dean growled and tried to rip his arms away. But whatever it... But whatever... But whatever had a hold on him wasn't letting go. He kicked his legs up, but found them caught in something suffocating and hot. It's me, Dean! Castiel! Dean snapped his eyes open. Cass was holding his wrist in his leg. Cass was holding his wrist and his legs were tucked in the blankets of their bed. He was in the bunker, not hell, not purgatory, the bunker. He was safe. Did, did I hit you? He croaked. Cass released his wrist, pulling him into a hug. No, Dean, I'm fine. Good, he said, reluctantly pulling away from the hug and scooting to the edge of the bed. Cass started to reach out for him, but dropped his hand a moment later. Dean shouldn't have this. He shouldn't have Cass. And he sure as hell didn't want a clingy, broken hunter to him. The eyes burned, both with exhaustion and emotion. He pressed the palms of his hands to his eyes, trying to stop the tears that threatened to spill over. His wrists burned where Cass had held them. His entire body ached for contact. Selfish, his mind stopped at him. Greedy. Cass was saying something now, but Dean couldn't hear him over the blood roaring in his ears. The mattress shifted and Cass stood exiting their bedroom. He never wanted this. Dean laid in the bed, hot tears rolling down his cheeks. He never wanted you, to be honest with yourself. You don't blame him for it. Dean tried to calm his itching breaths, but only succeeded in making them worse. Breathe. Just breathe, he told himself. He sat up again, shuddering as he struggled to control his breaths. He hates you. No. Dean whimpered. He hates you, he hates you, he hates... Dean. Dean snapped up to look at Cass. Angel had a concerned look on his face and held a cup of water in front of Dean. You're okay. Drink. Dean reached out with shaking hands and lifted the glass to his lips. The cold water had helped clear his mind as he drank. Cass came and sat next to him, wrapping an arm around his shoulders. Dean started to lean into the contact, stopping just short of plastering himself, plastering himself to Nyan. Stopping just short of plastering himself to Cass' side. How can he bear to touch you? Dean shivered against Cass's warm skin, biting his lip to hold back more tears. Cass pulled his arm back and turned to Dean to face him, cupping his cheeks with a cosseled hand. You're okay. Dean pulled away from Cass, looking at the bright doorway. We'd be better off without you. Dean. Dean turned to Cass, blinking the last few traces of tears out of his eyes. I'm okay. Dean nodded, unable to speak around the painful lump in his throat. He wanted to say he was sorry, tell Cass he loved him and everything else he was too scared to say. But the words wouldn't come. He shuddered again as Cass squeezed his tent shoulder. We're okay. You don't deserve him. Cass 
gently guided Dean until he was on the side of his bed again. Dean hesitantly met Cass's eyes, resisting the urge to pull the angel close and fall asleep in his arms. He couldn't do that. He couldn't keep taking whatever he wanted to contact time, love. Love. What does that even mean? Dean's eyes filled with tears again as he tried to stop the shivers that racked his body. Cass gave him a pain look, reaching out and pulled Dean close. Dean let him this time, too tired to pull away, and buried his face in Cass's neck. It's okay, Dean. Rest. Dean's eyes drifted shut as Cass started cradling his hand through Dean's hair. Dean took a deep breath and slipped an arm around Cass's waist. Could he do that? Was he overstepping? Cass just hummed happily and pulled Dean closer. Wrapped in his angel's arms, Dean Winchester fell into a deep, dreamless sleep. What do I deserve? Comic books, bro.